Let me ask you this. Are you working all day, every day, and your business is not growing as fast as you'd like to? Let me tell you, the problem is not the economy, the market, the offer, anything like that. The problem is internal. You're most likely not in control of your mind. And this video is about the nine roadblocks that have identified that plague six and seven figure entrepreneurs. If you do not fix this mental roadblocks, I guarantee that you will not be able to achieve the success you want. Because I've seen it hundreds of times how those who really take the time to understand their minds and get the right mindset shift end up making faster, easier progress. And this is not a guessing game. This is a systematic way of actually embodying the beliefs you need in order to really become an elite performer and win in business. And if you're curious, I believe that mindset roadblock number eight is the thing nobody realizes until it is too late. Welcome back. I'm Castillo, founder of Submaster Peak Cross Institute for Entra. So let's start with the first one, which is not having a vision or having the wrong one. I know you've heard this before, but I'm pretty sure you haven't really paid attention to it or built the vision that truly propels you forward. Because that is the secret. Elite performers are propelled forward by vision they really believe in, that tap into the intrinsic motivation, the deepest whys that made them jump out of bed willing to conquer the market, to build the business of the dreams, to really design a life they are proud of. Average entrepreneurs don't take the time to design a vision or they are running on shallow motivators. They are motivated by money, status, fame, things that will eventually fade away and keep them stuck. When you have a clear vision that is intrinsically motivated, that you believe in, everything becomes easier because you now know what to prioritize. Now you know what things are meaningful to you because they're taking you closer to that vision. So that is mental roadblock number one, is not having a clear vision. Which leads me to mental roadblock number two, is not thinking the vision is important enough. In other words, not guarding your vision. I've had this conversation thousands of times. Hey dude, I designed a vision and it didn't work. Like, what, did you actually protect it? Did you actually guard it from external interferences? Did you actually say no to everything that was not aligned with that vision? Did you consistently design systems in order to protect the hours of work needed and the mindset shift and the belief system to actually make you chase that vision faster? If the answer is no, then no wonder why you didn't get that vision, right? So it's mindset roadblock number two is not actual believing that chasing your vision is an actual work in progress. It's not something you do once, it's something you consistently commit and improve on. The good news is that once you have said no enough times, it becomes exponentially easier because you internalize what I call the iterative mindset, which is realizing the success, the vision, is really a few iterations of what you are consistently doing. So you say no to everything that is not aligned to the vision and you eventually iterate your systems enough times to eventually get that vision. But there's a problem with chasing the vision, which is mindset roadblock number three, idolizing the vision. And this is very subtle, but it really hurts lots of entrepreneurs. So imagine you have that vision, you absolutely believe in it. It is based on what you truly want in life. You protect it, you guard it, you say no to everything that is not aligned, but then you idolize it. Then you see it as something that is cool to aspire to, not as a reality that it is in the making. That means that you consciously decided on changing something, but you subconsciously believe it truly isn't for you. So you self-sabotage. So you do not push as hard. So when you get a milestone along the way towards the vision, you believe you don't deserve it. And over time, you end up quitting. Elite performers do this differently. Elite performers assume the state of the wish fulfilled, as Neville Goddard used to say. They just assume they 
are the person who achieved that goal. So let's say that they want to get to 10 million a year. Instead of putting that into a pedestal, they consistently operate from the perspective of an eight-figure entrepreneur, making the same kind of choices, making the same decisions, building the same systems, hiring the same people, so that over time you end up becoming exactly what you set out to become, an eight figure entrepreneur. If you're seeing any value from this video, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos we publish to help you perform at your peak in business so you can scale faster and easier. My so Rob block number four is depending on your mood to perform. And I've seen it so many times. Listen, if you only perform when you feel good, if you depend on your feelings in order to get things done, you will never get many things done. Average performers are at the mercy of their feelings, which is why they seldom get their goals because they cannot be consistent and disciplined enough to actually put in the work. There's a better way that implies mastering your mind, regulating your cognitive processes and taking control of your thoughts and your emotions. That is how elite performers do it. They perform irrespectively of how they feel because they understand that their thoughts and their emotions are just clouds passing through the sky of the mind. And they are the sky and they can choose which pay attention to those thoughts and their emotions or not. So if they feel like not working, they still work because they are professionals. They're elite performers that consistently perform. So if you are not feeling like working, it doesn't matter because you are going to do it that way. And this is the fourth mental roadblock that I see a lot of people falling into, which leads me to mental roadblock number five, which is misunderstanding what resistance really is. So resistance is the subconscious resistance that you get when trying to focus, when trying to do something that is hard. And neuroscientists call this limbic friction. In other words, you decide consciously to do something, but you subconsciously just don't really want to do it because you fear failing, because it is painful, because you just don't feel like it. And average entrepreneurs interpret that resistance as a sign that they should stop that this is not worth pursuing, that this is the wrong path, which is the wrong way of looking at it. Because any performers see it differently. They understand that resistance is to be expected. And at the other side of resistance really lays what they want, which is a successful completion of a project, a task, or a milestone or goal. So understanding resistance as something that is to be avoided is a huge mental roadblock that prevents you from scaling your business. Mental roadblock number six is caring too much about the outcome instead of really focusing on the process. And that is a telltale sign. And this is a crucial difference between average and elite performers. Average entrepreneurs are consistently obsessed with outcomes, obsessed with scaling, obsessed with getting seven figures, obsessed with, you know, getting an award, whatever. They're obsessed about an outcome they have no control over, which leads to micromanaging every single tiny aspect of everything that they do in hopes that that will guarantee the outcome. But that doesn't work because the complexity of the world far exceeds our ability to actually compute it. So no matter how much you try to control everything, there will always be things outside of your control that will affect your chances of getting the outcome. So never obsess about the outcome. The better way of looking at this is obsessing over the process and letting go of the outcome. If you commit to mastering every single tiny process, but you still understand that there are things outside of your control and you show up every day at big performance, working as much as you can with as much intensity as you can, you end up getting the outcome. And oftentimes not in the way you initially thought you would, but that doesn't matter because you always end up winning. And if you look at elite performers in the arts, Leonardo da Vinci, in business, you know, Elon Musk, Richard Branson, whoever you admire the most, they are never consistently obsessing over an outcome. They are obsessing over having fun when mastering the process. And that is a crucial mental roadblock that I really urge you to avoid because it plagues even the most intelligent folks. Mental rubric number seven is not eliminating doubt every time it arises. See, being in business is hard, mostly because the world is unpredictable. We're trying to build a predictable business that gives us predictable profit, but things are changing all the time. We have to make decisions under uncertainty with incomplete information, which oftentimes leads to doubting 
ourselves doubting our decisions. Average performers, they entertain those doubts. They waste days thinking, agonizing about things they have to make a decision on. They really take long and long in um before they can ever decide on something. And the more they wait, the bigger the doubt becomes and the more paralyzing it ends up being. And it typically leads to worse decision down the road. And the entrepreneurs, they have doubt just like everyone else, but they make the case of moving as fast as humanly possible to validate the next steps so they don't have time to entertain any doubt. Every time you doubt yourself, realize that that typically is a good sign because it implies that you are operating under uncertainty, which is the only way in which you are going to make progress. If you know exactly what to do at every single moment, you're not risking enough. You're not going beyond enough. Doubt is a telltale sign you are actually working on the right things. Which leads me to mental roadblock number eight, which to me is probably the most pervasive because I've seen it even in eight figure entrepreneurs that I've worked with. So this affects everyone. And once you get this right, I guarantee that it totally changes the game. And that is choosing self-compassion over self-criticism. See, we are bound to make mistakes. Every single one of us, no matter how smart we are, we are consistently operating in uncertainty, making decisions with incomplete information. So it's just natural that we really make a lot of mistakes. And as successful entrepreneurs, they're not right 100% of the time, they are right 60% of the time, which is why they end up winning. The problem is that average entrepreneurs, they typically blame themselves. They self-criticize where they don't get the results they want. They get into this mindset of thinking that they should have known better and that over time atrophies their ability to make calculated risks. When you have had enough failures in a row, you end up retreating and you do not continue pushing as hard as you need in order to grow your business. The best way to go about this is self-compassion, is realizing they're just going to be making mistakes and that's okay, forgiving yourself for having made those mistakes and commit to mastering the processes so that over time you make less and less mistakes. I've seen eight-figure entrepreneurs making 20 millions a year thinking about selling their business because they have lost the spark because they have made three bad decisions in a row. I've seen it. And that is very sad. And I'm thinking about someone who had been 32 years in business, right? So this can plague even the most committed, hardworking, intelligent individuals. So if this is you right now, realize that the more compassionate you are against yourself, the more chances you give yourself to really start again make a new decision, move forward, the more successful you'll be. And the final mental roadblock, which is really related to your physiology, is over-indexing on hustle instead of recovery. See, the problem is that you're not working hard enough. You probably are. The problem is that you're not resting as hard as you're working. And that is one of the secrets of elite performers, is the fact that if you push very hard, you need to let your body really relax very hard so you can encode that information so you can become better over time. If you are consistently working, expanding energy, you will eventually flatline, which means that your performance will be a three out of 10 every single day. You will never really reach peak performance. You will never feel fully rested. You will be at the mercy of an overactivated stress system. The solution is very simple, is rest as hard as you work, is to clearly segment your days exactly as I teach you. I'll put a link to the video right here so that over time you can be relentlessly effective and operate at 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 every single day without risking any burnout, without being overwhelmed, without risking injury if you are into sports. So these are the nine mental roadblocks that I've seen at the six, seven, and eight figure level. Choose to think like an elite performer and you will get elite results. This is not a guessing game. This is a proven systematic way of directing your mind to think the best way. If you want to go deeper into what makes an elite performer, what are all the things that need to be optimized for you to shine at your absolute best every single day, click on this video here. It's going to show you exactly how we build elite performers. See you in the next video.